this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for June 4th. And I want to talk to you about today's energy because it's a weird day. We have wonderful energy to focus on, and we have some negative energy to focus focus on. And again, this is going to fall into that duality energy. We still have Neptune and Pisces squaring off with the, with Mercury and Gemini, the Sun and Gemini, and Mars and Gemini. So we still feel foggy. We still don't feel like we know what we want. Our our core is in question. We still don't know like like where we truly want everything to go. So we're you know we're in that energy right now. And the moon in Capricorn is going to be squaring your sun. So there's an emotional issue that's going to come up that's going to make you, it's going to make you not feel good about your future. You're indecisive about something. And anytime Capricorn energy is indecisive, it doesn't, it hesitates. Instead of putting its little hoofs up on that next little ladder to go up to the next little ladder, it hesitates and it thinks it through and it says, you know, I'm not ready yet. And you know what? Um, Jupiter in Leo today is going to be sextiling Mercury in Gemini, and it's going to be sextiling your Sun in Gemini. So I think, I think what's going to happen here is whatever this emotional based decision, whatever this emotional based issue that has to do with your future, so that it has to do with you know, uh, a government issue, it could be taxes, it could be something that hits you hard as far as in the financial belt. It could be an opportunity that you thought you were going to have that you got disappointed on. It could be a financial issue that, you know, that you thought was going to get you ahead and then all of a sudden, you know, you found out some issue about it and it doesn't look as good as it did. And, you know, you're faced with that sort of reality of like, okay, this didn't, this wasn't the most optimal situation for me, and I'm not really truly happy about it. And that it's going to just blow out your candle, especially it'll. But here's the thing: Jupiter and Leo is going to want to make you push forward. So it's going to say, you know what? That's an old opportunity, old opportunity, smooth opportunity. Like I don't care. And so it's going to make you want to just like, you know. Look at the brighter sides of things. Okay, so that opportunity didn't go well, or maybe you made a poor decision that, you know, maybe maybe you're having second thoughts about something. You know, you made this um, career-based decision, and you're like, oh, my gosh, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have made that decision. Like, maybe that was a really bad decision. And so, you know, but that's okay because Jupiter's in your corner today. Jupiter is a very benefic planet in this spot. So even though your moon and your sun are kind of having a tug of war with, okay, I, I imagine the best case scenario, I've seen this thing, but here's the reality of it. And like, you know, you're going to be weighing out the two. Um, Jupiter and Leo is going to say, you know what, it's going to work out. You know, it's, you know what, because there's going to be some great conversation or there's going to be just some core strength that you have to say, you know, I know that my, that my emotional based reaction to this is telling me it's not going to work. But guess what? I, I, I feel optimistic anyway. You know, I, I know that if I put a creative spin on it or if I look at it a different way, I know that I can push forward in this energy today. And that's okay. You know, I, I, I know that I'm, I'm hesitating, but, that, but it doesn't matter because, you know, deep down I know it's the right decision. So even though if something comes up today and it makes you doubt that, a, that initial decision that you made, it doesn't matter. Something comes in from you. It bubbles from within inside you and it says, you know what? I know this is good. And it could even mean confirmation uh, through... Uh, uh, you know, talking to somebody, or maybe you just get some bright idea and you're like, I'm going to go research this out. You know, I, I'm scared, you know, let's go research out, you know, this field or this, this career aspiration or going back to school or, you know, something that has to do with getting you ahead. 
you know, you take all that energy that was pulling at you emotionally and pulling you back and saying, you know what, there's something more to my life. There's something more. I'm not thinking about something. So you, you're going to go out and you're going to research something and it's going to provide you with an answer. It's going to be like, you know, that light goes on and you're going to be like, woohoo, I knew it. Like, you know, let's go Jupiter. And you're going to want to recharge the hill of Jupiter. And it's going to be a lucky day. I think today, even though there's opposition and, and, and there's quincunx today, you know what? That's okay. In your, in Venus, in Cancer, it's going to be um, training Saturn and Sagittarius guys. It's big news. Like, it's working together. It's working harmoniously. It's, it, you know, it's seamlessly. It's It's like anything that Saturn teaches you today, you just... I don't know, instinctually pick up, you know, so that, you know, in your home and family, in your um, money or in your relationships or in your partnerships or in some, some sort of legal issue, today is just going to work seamlessly with Saturn and Saturn is going to be a benefic presence in your life. That's only if you conquer and address the fact that your emotional well-being and your core well-being are not on the same page. It's, it's like it's like your personal power is, okay, Jupiter and Leo and Pluto and Capricorn are still having that battle of like, I just want to bless this person with everything. There's cool opportunities that I'm going to give them. But Pluto and Capricorn is saying, you know what? You know, I don't, you know, this person has this and this and this problem. And so they can't make it. They can't do it. They've got to address this issue. There's, there's this thing that they have to do. And so it's pulling you back and it's making you think like you can't do it. It's taking away personal power. But Jupiter is in a, is in a sextile today. So even though there's this opposition, there's this tremendous, tremendous energy to say, I don't care. I am hurtling over it. Like I am just. I'm going to kick its ass, you know, and you feel like you can. It's a great day. I think June 4th is going to be over. I, do I think there's going to be some inner turmoil? Absolutely. More than likely. <laughs> but it's going to be a good day, guys. <sighs> I actually am starting to, like, get into June. Like, I'm feeling the energy shift, and I'm like, Gemini energy is coming back, baby. I, that's totally the way I feel. And believe me, it is. You guys have a fabulous day. Choose the energy that you want. Choose optimal energy. Don't let your past suck you back. Don't let your emotional well-being hold you back from progressing to the future. And let's go rock today. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.